Hey everybody, looking forward to seeing you later today. I just wanted to suggest um, a little exercise that I think will be really good to kick us off in the session, and that is to think about our hook points that we talked about in the last session. Um, and here's some examples from someone who is extremely good on thinking about this whole subject, a chap called Brendan Kane, and you can find his book, The Hook Point, if you're interested. But he talks about the importance of messages that really capture people's imagination um, and, and cut through in, in obviously the, the social media world. And he, start, he says, yes, that we think about it a bit like, imagine you're going into a magazine store and you're looking through the magazines and what's going to attract your attention, what, what headlines draw you in to have a look at that magazine. And that's, imagine that as the process that you're really trying to think about. So it's not just the f f practical reality of what, you're, what you've got to say, but it's actually finding an imaginative way to, to um, hook people in. So um, I thought I'd just give you an example in relation to Jen's coffee. I hope she won't mind me doing that. But you know, there are a number of ways in which you can talk about, or which you could talk about, her coffee brand, which is all about the world's finest coffee. So for example, you might try brilliant coffee from around the world. Maybe take that a stage further, the world's finest coffee bit more interesting. But how about experience the world's finest coffee direct to your door? A bit more interesting. But what about this? What about every cup of our coffee transports you to Nirvana? I think I might read that. Anyway, just an example. You'll have your own. And what I want to do is the first part of the session is for everybody to go in a breakout and just share some ideas they had for how they might hook people into their brand. Speak to you later.